Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Still Speaks video, but you can tell it is a Supreme Commander 2 replay because you are so, so smart. And only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button and they rang that bell and turned on all notifications so you can be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. Seriously guys, that means the world to me and costs you absolutely nothing. And guys, my band released an EP last month. Guys, click the link down below, check it out. It would mean a lot to me as well. And be on the lookout for the 10 year anniversary, the 10 year OSS anniversary tournament hosted by Night of Misfortune. Click the link down below to be part of the OSS Discord server and subscribe to Night of, Night of Misfortune. So anyway guys, the map is Van Horn Court. It is a 3v3 map. Team 1 is over here where my cursor is going over and Team 2 is over where my cursor is going over on the right hand side. So let's see who the players are. We got Pat spawning in as the purple. The pur 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 purple. <laughs> Let's try that over. We got Pat spawning in as the purple Cyber Commander dropping down a unusual but probably effective triple research station opener with yeah. And then we got the air player. We got Nuclear Pizza spawning in as the green Cyber Commander dropping down a double Air factory opener and echoing all the things. And he's going to get some energy generators. That's right. He is going to deliver defeat in 30 minutes or less. Or it's absolutely free. Hope you enjoy that. Seriously, guys. Order the extra toppings. It's worth it. He will shove it in your face. And then we got Night of Misfortune, the man of the hour. At least the man of the hour come October 23rd, 2021. He is spawning in as the orange UEF commander dropping down a triple research station opener. He is going to help Nuclear Pizza deliver that Nuclear Pizza. And then we got Cyclonus spawning in as the brown UEF commander dropping down a triple research station opener. And let's see who their air player is. We got Noob, who has queued up a whole bunch of assist commands to go back and forth. I do love seeing people going back and forth between their air, air factories. He is spawning in as the Red Seven Commander dropping down a double air factory opener. If you guys haven't realized it, that the air spot is in back despite them getting cyber and they're not going oh i'm gonna rush i'm gonna rush uh i'm gonna rush mega no they went air because that is the air spot if you don't have air in a 3v3 map i promise you your team will be mad at you so night of misfortunes radar is down so that could be an issue for him considering that cyclonus is fast approaching and let's see who else we got here we got acab a guy from a previous video so we had him play previously y yeah 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 he was playing with alpha hex that is right so we got acab spawning in as the blue seven commander dropping down a research station and an air factory no a double research station opener what an interesting opener and we got pat pushing in because that's what pat does right guys he Puts down some research stations and then he pushes his ACU up at you and really hope he does well because, you know, he might have problems because he's way up there against double air and yeah, they, there's hates minions spawning uh, coming in. If you guys saw in the lower hand, the, the lower corner there, hates minute minion popped up on my Steam account. He was in a match, I think, last week with Night of Misfortune. What a small world. Couldn't we say that? So Pat's pushing in pretty hard. He doesn't really have anything to deal with anything, really, because he's just an ACU. Not a whole lot he can do. He's getting a bunch of loyalists, though. Probably might want to get some adapters. Might be smart to get some adapters because all your opponents really have are is air, right? So if you want to get that ACU, get some adapters, have them protect your ACU, and boom, you, you, you could win this. Or get some MMLs, that could be helpful too. Yeah, Knight's getting harassed pretty badly. Nuclear Pizza is only one Air Force versus one and a half. Going on a full two soon. 
Yeah, Pat is putting down a high damage air tower. And it's gone. Pat, what are you doing, dude? Pat! <laughs> Nuclear Pizza can't save you right now, dude. Gotta get out of the good, Pat. Pat doing the wise decision and saying, you know what? I'm gonna walk away from this. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna build a mass extractor over here and then I'm gonna, you know, profit. And then we got Night of Misfortune building an air gantry when they are don't have air. Hopefully he's researching the, what would you call that? The mega fortress? So he could build more air to help out his teammate. And not an AC-1K. Well, if he gets an AC-1K, hopefully it's able to take out Cyclonus. Cyclonus pushing to the center. A very interesting move there. Yeah, we got two Cybran Air Forces versus one. So this is this could go really, really, really bad for Nuclear Pizza. I mean, like, this could be catastrophic for him. Yeah, two Air Forces fighting one, but the one is fighting over anti-air, so Nuclear Pizza might win this. Oh, Night of Misfortune's air comes to help out, and it was it's a miracle. It looks like Nuclear Pizza won. Knight and Nuclear Pizza won air. And now it is safe for Knight to build a... Well, not perfectly safe, but it's safer than it was, right? To build a AC-1 Terror. Nicely done there by Pizza. Definitely pushing, pulling away so his opponents can't get him. Now... These bots here, I wonder how how good they're going to do, Pat. Pat, you know, you might want to spread your units next time they get bombed. Just a thought, dude. Yeah, these bots aren't going to get anything done, really. That's a big mass donation on ACAB's doorstep. I mean... Yeah, those bots could have been good if they just rushed right there and spread out. Guys, this is not to criticize Pat, but just to help him become a better player. Pat's a good player already. He just has a habit of really, really focusing it on his ACU. And this is great. This is a good move by Pat. Transitioning into long-range artillery. So, yeah, Pat likes to go ACU a lot. That's like his big thing. And everyone knows it. If you ever see Pat on the battlefield, he's probably going to go ACU, and if that doesn't work, he'll do something else. And I love that he transitions. That's good. That's a good move. That's a smart move. Probably should get some adapters, though. Now, for the future, for future reference for Pat and for anyone else who plays this game, spread your units out when they're pushing out against air. You can't shoot back air. Well, even if you could, spread them out. It means that the splash damage can't can't destroy all your units, right? The splash damage just won't annihilate the army like we just saw. And don't press up against the mass extractors unless you want them to destroy your units with the mass extractor. Like you have two bots. Well, I guess that's a, a trade. Like one bot is even better, right? Because that would be a, a better mass trade for you. And I like what Pat's doing. Pat's doing some great work. That is really obnoxious. I would hate that, but it's great. It's phenomenal work. Ah, and Night of Misfortune went Air Fortress because he wanted to win Air. I told you guys Night of Misfortune's a smart, a smart dude. And now Air is really, really in Team 1's favor. With Pat's constant bombard shelling, his constant shelling of... Now that's a good target, actually. That's a really good target for Pat. Like right here, there's shields. Not, yeah, there's shields. Not a whole lot of shields, but good. this is a good target. Now there's problems for Pat because Pat's, Pat's in a cluster. Pat's built in a cluster, and again, things in a cluster will get splash damage. You know, when these, when these hit, when those ACA, when ACABs, Artillery hits, it's going to do a lot of damage. Maybe it's too close to ACAB's artillery, or is it? Yeah, no, this is going to do a lot of damage here. And, yeah, ACAB spread out, and that's really, really good. 
Taking out one mass extractor, that's pretty good. Probably need a good taking out a engineer. Down to only two bots, not going to do a whole lot. Now, we got some long-range artillery. Again, I don't like them together like that. Need to spread them out. And like I said, guys, see how Pat is all clumped together? Very easy for ACAB. And is that... Who is Brown again? Is that Noob? No, Cyclonus to just destroy everything that he owns. It's not a problem. ACAB is in a whole lot of trouble. And this is why you don't want to lose air on this map. Yeah, ACAB, I think this is it. Where's he? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You got shields? Where are your shields, ACAB? Wow, ACAB survived. I thought that was it. I thought that was it for him. Now, I like how... I like how... Pat is targeting him as well. Pretty good move there. The constant bot harassment, not, not always, not super helpful. Probably would should stop building bots. Probably should start building something different. Yeah, the fortified artillery there by Cyclonus just is gonna shred all this. But Air is really, really, really in Team One's favor. I mean, yeah, it really is. We got some gunships. Not the best choice against Cybrin. But a great choice right here. Cyclonus is going to die. Yeah, Cyclonus is gone. Boom! Down goes Cyclonus. Yeah, that was... There was no saving Cyclonus. Night of Misfortune has like, what? Four air fortresses there and some gunships? Yeah. That's going to melt everyone. I think he could literally go over there and melt ACAB before ACAB could really respond. With a fifth mega fortress? Yeah, that's... That's, that's GG, man. That's GG. Pat has a nuke silo. I think I like that. I think that's a pretty good choice. But the placement isn't very good at all because there's a whole, whole lot of... ACAB is just bombarding. And it's very easy to shell because these things have cameras on them. Some people may say that the camera attachment is useless on the shells but I like it a lot because you can see what your opponent is building where you're shelling and it's it's just like free scouting in my opinion yeah I mean this is going to be trouble for noob noob they really should be focusing on putting anti-air towers down need more than that I promise you you need more than that oh that could be a good snipe oh are they going to snipe knight Oh, Knight is in trouble now. But I think Nuclear Pizza... pizza. Oh, Pat is down! I think Pat got killed by the artillery. That's unfortunate for him. Going after Nuclear Pizza. Okay. Really need to choose one target and stick with it if you want to really do an effective... A, a real effective snipe. Snipe attempt failed because that's a, there's so much air. You gotta be so fast in your ty snipe a type offense. <laughs> You gotta be so fast in your snipe attempts if you want to make it work. But this is over, I think. Even Well, there's a bunch of cyber and stuff. So, if ACAB puts down a whole bunch of anti-air towers and... Well, even Noob put down a bunch of anti-air towers and energy generators. That'd be really hard for all this to get in there. Because of structure detonate. Could do a lot of damage. Taking out mass extractors, that's a good move. All of that, all of the core mass is gone for Noob. So Noob's going to have a hard time there to build anything. He's got one mass, two mass extractors to his name. Yeah, that's going to be really hard for him. It's a lot of anti-air. Probably need to, need more. If he had some adapters that might help him. Might be helpful. Yeah, Knight is just cleaning this up. I wonder why there was no Structure Detonate there. Structure Detonate would have really, really helped. Now, I think this is ground firing because it was firing into a group of gunships. And I think it worked. Oh my goodness! You see that chunk of planes? 
Just take massive damage. All those planes just died instantly. Knight, you gotta move your planes, dude. Wow. Wow. That's annoying. <laughs> that had to have annoyed Knight. That would have annoyed me. Yeah, now there's a lot of air fortresses. There's just so many air fortresses. Yeah, you need to cl tightly cluster the shields more. Wow, that air fortress was insta-killed. That was... That was pretty amazing, actually. I don't think there's going to be enough to stop this. Yeah, these guys are too close to each other, too. Okay, so Knight is coming in, and so is Nuclear Pizza. ACAB is not hunkered. Need to hunker down, ACAB. ACAB, hunker. Oh, man. Boom. Down goes ACAB. And I think this is Noob's last... Boom. Last few breaths. And down he goes. Knight of Misfortune, Nuclear Pizza, win it. Guys, seriously, don't be like Pat and building in a tight, a tight cluster like that. Because if you're building a tight cluster like that against Cybran artillery, you're going to have a bad time, I promise you. And I'm not saying Pat is a bad player. Not at all. I'm saying Pat had a... Well, he had a really good... He chose really well building artillery, but building in a cluster will screw you. Don't do it against Cybran artillery. And because we saw what happened, right? They all, it all just got annihilated right there. So anyway, guys, yeah. Thank you to Night of Misfortune for sending me this, this replay. I don't remember how he did it. It was last May, May 2020. I think he did it via email. So you could send your good replays just like Knight did to Gmail. So guys, seriously, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's got some great stuff on there. Probably going to be some more tournaments. And yeah, subscribe to him. Give him some love. Tell him that Still Speaks sent you. So yeah. What was I on all that? Yeah. So good job, Knight. Amazing, really. And Nuclear Pizza did amazing as well. So guys, yeah, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite, favorite it because that helps me out. Wait, let, me, let me do that smoother. So like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite it because that helps me out. Send your good replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com. Or join this, just like Night of Misfortune did, or join the Discord server and go to hashtag replays for still speaks, upload it there, and then at me, or send it in direct message to, you know, to me on Discord. Comment down below, say something nice about Night, Nuclear Pizza, Pat, about any of the players, really. Just say something nice, because, you know, it's a great thing to do, and people like that. Say something nice about the match, about the game. About the players, about Night of Misfortune's YouTube. Just say something cool, alright? If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page. And a quick shout out to my patrons. We got Alpha Hex. We got Helios. We got Iron Commander. And Novitrix. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. You are the reason why I keep making channel, making YouTube videos. Plus everyone else, but really... <laughs> but really when I sit down and think like man these guys are giving me money I really can't slouch and I can't not give you guys something for the week I gotta at least do one video for you you know I gotta do it for you because you guys are amazing and my patrons really help keep me motivated so thank you guys for that and another way to keep me motivated you could buy my band's music at bandcamp.com really you could buy it anywhere but the best deal is bandcamp.com you could buy it all all my band's music, it's 90% off for $2.50 right now. It'd mean the world to me. So yeah, I'm going to end this show with your friends, family, and foes. Can need something interesting. Wow, why do I always do that? A every match this month, I've been... <laughs> so, share with your friends, family, and foes. Because need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.